why Shama Mohammad did it take the loss of the only Rajya Sabha seat, the loss of an election which the Congress party, at least in the three states that went to polls yesterday, this was the sure shot win that you should have had. You lost that seat to actually realize the bigger problem, which is that the chief minister of the state has lost the confidence of a majority of your MLAs. See, let's understand one thing, uh, Zaka. It is not. It is not what is happening in our party. Look what is happening. We had forty MLAs. They had twenty-five. Why did they even put a candidate? That's the thing. So this is what is happening now. Muscle power, money power, horse trading. There is no democracy. As I've said many a times, there is an undeclared emergency in this country. We have to follow certain dem democratic norms in this country. Those are subverted. We Let's not forget the case of Anil Masi. What the Supreme Court has criminal proceedings against him. And at, at whose bereft did he work? We know that he was a BJP person. And what happened in Chandigarh? They had, if not... If not the Supreme Court interfering at the right time, you would have a BJP mayor over there by cheating. I mean, criminal proceedings against Anil Masi. So what is happening Shama right Mohammed, now can, is Can you address the question I asked you? You are addressing everything except the fact that your chief minister has lost confidence of his MLAs. That's my the moot point of what has happened in Himachal. No, no. My, my chief minister has lost the confidence of the MLAs or not is not known. You can hear certain things now. Why has the, the, the person Vikram Aditya has taken back his resignation? Okay. If he had lost the confidence, he would not take back the resignation. Because see, you Why did he tender his resignation in the first place? I hope you heard the press conference that he addressed no, this morning. There, there, there are issues. There are issues. And then we hear... Then, then we hear the BJP on the other side. They are uh, president jumping over there saying, look what you're doing. They are against Parivarvad. Isn't Vikram Aditya, doesn't he come in the Parivarvad sector? They always say we are against Parivarvad. Who is Vikram Aditya? Is, is so... When they want, there is no Parivarvat. When they don't want, there is Parivarvat. I really don't know what the BJP No, so is far doing. from my understanding is Vikramatya Singh as well as these other six MLAs who cross-voted are staying with the Congress. They have not joined the BJP yet. But be that as it may, let me ask Tuhin Sinha. Tuhin Sinha, it's a mockery of the democratic process that six MLAs who got elected on a Congress ticket are cross-voting. Forget about the Congress party not knowing about it. What, what sort of electoral sense does that make? I mean, that defeats the faith with which the voters of those six constituencies sent these MLAs. Good evening, Zaka. Good evening, everybody. Well, you would remember that just yesterday, two of our MLAs in Karnataka voted against the party uh, line. So are we going to cry and say that, you know, Congress is responsible for that? It's a fact that the, Cong the Congress High Command, with its incompetence, has mismanaged at least three state governments. First, we saw that in Punjab and when uh, Amrinder Singh was the CM. Then we saw the constant fight between uh, Ashok Gehlot and, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Pilot in Rajasthan and now in Himachal. Now, the fact is, I want to make a serious charge over here. You know, the Gandhi family knew all along that this is precisely how the Rajya Sabha election in Himachal would span out. And that is exactly the reason why Sonia Gandhi preferred Rajasthan instead of uh, Himachal, where, in fact, uh, Priyanka Gandhi has a holiday home. They knew all along that there was a massive discontent, non-acceptance brewing against the sitting CM. And they, you know, did not want to address it. I don't think, you know, it behoves So, you're saying that they made Dr. Singhvi a scapegoat of sorts? Absolutely a sacrificial lamb. You know, you need to no, see no, it no, in the no, larger no, no. context. I don't agree in the on last three, please don't imagine. In, in the last three to four days, there has been a mass exodus. There has been a mass, mass exodus for some time. But look at the kind of people who have left the Congress Party. The working president of Congress Party in uh, Maharashtra, the working uh, president of the Congress Party in Assam, the lone member of parliament of Congress Party from Jharkhand, two MLAs from Bihar, one MLA from Arunachal. Okay. So with this kind of no, no, mass but, but voters, they're all coming to your party, which is supposedly the party with a difference. No, no, but can, but that's a, that's a different you, debate. I, I'm not getting into that. One no, second. No, just 10 seconds. Let, I, I can tell you we are accepting only a minuscule fraction of, of the ones who are coming. No, no. This Geeta Koda, the wife of former Chief Minister Madhu Koda, he went to jail for a 3,000 no, crore mining so scam. separate the husband from the wife. Ah. Anyway, the wife did not go to jail. So, let me ask uh, Shama Mohammed to respond to what uh, Tuin Sinha said. He's, a, he's making a big charge. And please explain the rationale for why Sonia Gandhi, the tallest leader in your party, chose to go to Rajasthan where the Congress is not in power and not fight from Himachal Pradesh where the Congress is in power. 
surely no. there must be some merit in what tuhin is saying that the no, congress high I command knew all along that himachal was a problem no no i don't agree on that it was decided by the high command and also the various uh, party members that it is good to represent rajasthan because she wanted to show that it is not just a state where we have one she's going to be there see you you have to understand she was the former party president a very senior leader i mean everything so she wanted to show that you know a state which has lost i'm going to go from there to give them a, a morale boosting you understand and that is the reason sonia gandhi ji chose rajasthan now let me tell you what games they are playing let, remember when the shiv sena was broken into two eknath shinde faction what was happening at that time they took them to gujarat from gujarat here they were taken to assam assam nobody including reporters were not allowed to enter the hotel now what was what is going on basically okay. and uh, th th those are issues here. of the past i want to deal with what's happening no, no, in the in the present yeah, one second yeah, let, let me go to sanjay kumar to and to rashid kidwai as well one, one second uh, uh, sanjay kumar the moot issue is this the congress party the only state in northern india that it is in power in is in himachal pradesh and out of the six who cross voted yesterday i am given to understand that four of them four out of the six mlas are from the same home district as that of the chief minister and they are the ones who have a, the biggest problem with the chief minister if a chief minister does not have the confidence of mlas from his own district and the high command has no clue about it then surely somebody needs to ask the question who has he's or her years on the ground <laughs> no zaka you're right leave aside whether these mlas were uh, are from the district from where chief minister belong or not uh, you are the chief being a chief minister of of a uh, of a state belonging to a party i think uh, it is an, it is one of the duties of the chief minister to be in touch with the mla and to try and work with the mla this certainly does not present a good picture about the sitting chief minister of congress in uh, in um, in himachal pradesh so it is a weakness of the party there is something seriously wrong within the party you know a senior member of the party is contesting the rajya sabha election and six out of 40 mlas decide to you know cross to do a cross voting it's a serious problem which the party needs to address no and today the situation is so bad that the budget which is a finance bill and rashid kidwa is also joining us which was supposed to be presented today they could not present it and this whole suspension of 15 mlas of the bjp happened because uh the government knew that if these six did not vote for the finance bill then the government automatically falls so they have decided to uh, suspend these 15 mlas now i'll get into the merits or demerits of that in one second but rashid the question that i asked to shama mohammed as well why did it have to take the loss of a rajya sabha seat for a senior congress leader like abhishek manu singhvi for the high command for the congress party its observers everyone to wake up to realize that there's a serious problem in the state unit the chief minister seems to have lost confidence of a majority of the congress mlas